guys, I just cannot stay away from messing around with my system, with all my systems. So I've broken out my uh, Core 2 Quad Q8400 um, system. It's running a Gigabyte EP45-UD3P motherboard. And I'm just going to do a quick overclock on this CPU from uh, its default of 2.66 and we're just going to take it up to, to 3 gigahertz you know no no big deal nothing fancy so I've pressed delete to get into my BIOS on a gigabyte uh, BIOS the first thing you would want to do is hit control and F1 and your screen will flash real quickly and it'll unlock just a few advanced features I just want to have everything available to me. First thing you would do is go down to advanced settings like I did there and disable C1E and EIST. C1E is speed step and uh, EIST I just got through reading about it but I, I forgot already what it was. So. And there's that. There's another thing there. The thermal monitor you can you can uh, disable, but I think for this purpose this should be fine. So you'd want to enable put your host clock control. And I forget what uh, gets you to three mega uh, gigahertz. Three sixty six. Nope. I think it's three seventy five. Yeah, 375 on the host frequency. So you can see up, up above there, that takes us to 3 gigahertz. So all you really need to do, uh, the, the performance enhance on the, on the memory, uh, you probably want to stick with standard if you're going to be overclocking. And uh, on the system memory multiplier, as you can see, doing that, making that change took my memory from 1066 to 1200. So we need to find a value that's 1066 or below, and it looks like it's going to be uh, 1000. So the memory will run at uh, 1000 instead of 1066. The uh, DRAM timing selectable, I set it to manual already. I always run my memory at the rated uh, timings, so they're set at 55515. And then on your voltages, the load line calibration, you'd want to enable. That prevents uh, V droop. On this small of an overclock, you can probably get away with using normal. And on the rest of the voltages, I will use normal. But just to show you that it's not a big deal. I am going to go 1.3125 volts on my uh, V core. If you go much higher, you're, you're going to have to bump up that CPU termination, but I think this should be fine. So the rest of these voltages, except the DRAM, I'll take to normal. DRAM voltage, this is 2.0 to 2.1 volt memory. So I've got that set to 2.02 volts. It's just a personal, you know, personal preference. You need to just set that at whatever your RAM is. So here's the settings. Um, just those advanced features. And then enable host clock control. Take your host frequency to whatever you want it to be at. And now kind of remember, if you're gonna if you're going much higher, you're gonna have to bump up. Um, some of the other voltages like we did down here. The, the timing, don't forget your timing selectable or your uh, system memory multiplier. That, that'll be the number one reason people don't boot is they forget, they forget that making a whole clock change uh, changes that. So um, Set your timings, RAM timings to what they should be. Enable load line calibration and set your voltages
and let's make sure it boots. Save and exit. So we'll just make sure it boots. You'll see a, uh, in fact I'll pause this while it's booting just so you can see that it is a Q8400. We should hear a beep. There's the beep. And there you, you can see that it in fact is an Intel Core 2 Quad Q8400 running at 3 gigahertz. So we'll just continue on with the post here. And I'm sorry about the bad quality of these videos because I'm shooting this with all my videos with the Canon G9. And I really need to get another, uh, you know, a dedicated HD camera. But for right now, this is going to have to do. So it looks like it's going to boot. I'll go ahead and uh, put the CPU under some stress to make sure it doesn't crash. Just so you can see here. 100% and we'll get a temperature so you can see that it's fairly stable so far can't figure out why this is yeah yeah it's fine 50 degrees you know I could run prime 95 forever but that's not very good video so I just wanted to show you that um, you know I've taken a core 2 quad from 2.66 up to 3 gigahertz really does not involve all that much and you could probably run this for the rest of the CPU's life, and it would probably be fine. Um, and, you know, if you did run into problems, you could always set it back or make some changes on the voltage. But it, it's an awfully good way to get uh, more out of more for your money. So that's and uh, we're looks like we're well. I've been chatting here. It's staying right around 50 degrees and that's not bad at all I, I think as I recall the the thermal on this CPU is uh, I believe 72.4 if my memory serves I, I believe it's that so the, this distance to Chief J Max is not calibrated right but uh, anyway that's a quick overclock on a uh, Q8400 and a gigabyte motherboard. So I'll talk to you guys soon.